Hi, I'm Keith, and in this video we're going to discuss defining roles and user access inside of your Plan Plus CRM. Plan Plus is a very robust CRM that can be used by multiple users to get different views of the data. So you can control the access that the users have to features, the access that they have to data, and even the access that they have to uh, the views inside the data. Here we are logged into our Plan Plus Online account. We're on the uh, administration page, the account tab. Over here under security, you see there's a section called roles. So the easiest place is just to go right there to roles, and you'll see that by default there's three roles, admin, manager, and agent. The administrator by default has the most access, basically can see everything all the time. The manager has a little less access, and agent role is primarily defined for somebody who you only want them to have access to their own data. Now, on this page right here, you'll see there's three different settings that we can control. The access to pages, access to data, and access to views. Now, as I go into access to pages, I want to point out that up here across the main menu, you'll see that there's various different features, contacts, uh, you know, a number of different features, leads, opportunities. Each, each has various features that's available. What we can control is based on anybody that we give this role, we can control which features they have access to right here. So if I was going to go in and, and control the access that an agent have, I would click this edit button. And you'll see how my checkboxes correlate with the drop-down options up here. So under planning, you see these different options. Now it corresponds to each of those. Uh, same thing with organizations. It corresponds here. So if you want to disable certain features for that particular user, you can check the box here. One word of caution is you don't want to disable your administrator's ability to control license and billing. Um, that could uh, lock you out of this page as an administrator, which you wouldn't want to do. Okay, so when you're done making your changes for that page, you would simply click update, and that would change the access to those features for anybody with that role. So that can happen even after you've, been, you've assigned that role to somebody. Now, okay, the next thing that you control with a role is their access to data, so whether they can actually see organizations or not. So in general, for each one of the objects that you see here, record types, organizations, contacts, leads, opportunities, projects, you'll see each of these settings here. Inherit, read, write all, read, read all, write all, read all, write own, and read own, write own. Now these ones right here are pretty, uh, pretty intuitive. Read all, write all, read all, write own, read own, write own. So what's the difference between all versus own? This has to do with the sales team feature. The inherit option has to do with the reporting manager structure. So let me show you those two things and where they come into play. Here I am inside of an organization record. You'll see the team tab. Now, if my name is on the team, then this would be a record that I own, and, and at the very lowest level of access, I would have access to this record. Now, somebody else who's in my account, one of these other users, would not have access to that if they were read, own, write, own. So this, this is the team feature right here. So you can always give access to, to a certain user by putting them on the team. Now, back to this other option that says inherit. Now, inherit has to do with the reporting manager structure when you created your new users. So let's go take a look there. Okay, so here I am in the user administration. When you create a user, you can put their reporting manager in. Whoever the reporting manager is can have access to a record of their subordinates uh, based on that inherit setting. So typically for a manager, you would want a manager to have inherit on, on their uh, access controls if you want them to just see the people that are in their in their division, in their department. Now one other place that this access to data comes into play is when you're building views. And the views are, well, right here, this is going to show us who has access to the views. So for each one of these roles, I can control the view. So these are all views, and if you're not sure what a view is, we're going to, we're going to go there uh, next. So these are contact views, these are opportunity views, organization views for this particular role. Now, if you're wondering what the views are, we'll go and take a look at those. So you can see how you can set a default view for each user. This is a great thing if you want them to go to a certain view when they just click the tab. 
and then you can enable or, or unenable any of those views. So just to give you a quick refresher on what a view is, these are views, and if I go into one of these views, this setting right here that says um, all organizations, all organizations up or updatable or all organization sales team, if you're an agent and you have read, own, write, own access, any of these options are going to give you the same setting. If you're a manager set to inherit, um, this, and you set a view to all organizations updatable, it would show you your records and anybody, uh, any of your subordinates' records. You can also create new roles right here. If you wanted to create a new role, sometimes we find that various different industries have certain roles that they want to create. Our standard roles are admin, manager, and rep. If you're in real estate, you might have a role of broker, agent, or transaction coordinator. If you're in a sales organization, it might be lead qualifier, closer, billing. In medical, you might have uh, office manager, or doctor, or assistant. So the roles can vary by industry, and you have the ability to create new roles right here on this page. You'll notice that each of the roles can be based on either an admin or a manager. So if you check that, that would make it a derivative of a manager role. If you don't check either of these, it will basically be an, an agent role by default. And when you create your roles, each one of those roles is going to be based on either an administrator or a manager or an agent. And this view control profile defines the default values for an administrator. So if you make any changes to your access control, you might want to just double check under this setting here to make sure that these are all aligned as well. So even though you can create additional roles, they still need to be based on the same access control privileges of either an admin, a manager, or a rep. And again, so right here under security, roles and access control profile, these are your two primary settings for determining your roles. Thank you.